Hi, this is Todd, and today is Friday, April 30th, 2010. Today we're going to talk about some strategies on how to take care of gregarious larvae. Uh, these larvae here are larvae of morning cloaks that feed on the willows, and as you can see here, I have a lot of them. Females <laughs> lay eggs in clutches of 100, 150 in large amount, as is similar with other uh, species of uh, that genus, Dymphalus. So, um, one option is to use we call the open bucket technique, and, and uh, as you can see here, I've taken a few of these larvae and put them on some uh, willow cuttings and bottled water. But um, I already have a series of this butterfly, so basically I want to rear them to be able to photograph and, and document their life history as much as possible. These are uh, late fourth in stars and young fifth in stars. But what do I do? with all the extras. As you can see here, there must be 70 or 80 caterpillars. So today we're going to talk about the sleeve technique. I have here some butterfly net material in this sleeve that you see here. I'm going to put that around uh, some willows and let them rear, uh, rear themselves, or at least up to a point uh, where they denude the willows on my branch and then I'll have to change them out. But uh, we'll show how that uh, is done here. So okay, here's my globe willow tree in my backyard. Unfortunately, much of my tree has died, and I do not know why, but it still does have some branches and willows. So we're going to set up a rearing sleeve on these willows and put the caterpillars on them and see how we do. Okay, what I'm going to do is take this first, first uh, clutch of caterpillars. I separated them out into two bunches because I don't want them to uh, defoliate my willows too quickly. I've got them in two containers, and what I'm going to do put a sleeve around this one branch of willows and then um, actually what I'm going to do first is put the larvae in the sleeve put the sleeve around the branch and we'll set her up okay I'm sorry I took two hands to put this sleeve around this <coughs> willow branch and we've got caterpillars inside the sleeve they will ultimately find it's like a few of them have um, the branches in this willow and then they'll feed here the advantage of this technique is obviously you don't have to worry about removing frass because it will dry and uh, <clears throat> the only thing that you really need to focus on is consumption of all the leaves because they'll starve to death if I don't carefully monitor this. Okay, there's my first sleeve. Here's my second sleeve. Um, you probably can't see the caterpillars. I placed the caterpillars towards the back of the sleeve and then worked um, the sleeve towards the end. You can see I've got drawstrings along this uh, <clears throat> sleeve. It's made out of nylon mesh or butterfly netting material. I'll go ahead and secure that and uh, check it about every six days and probably move the sleeve to other branches uh, that will support the larger caterpillars. This is just an option uh, on how to raise morning cloaks or other gregarious butterflies. Please just go ahead and see them. Thanks.